So welcome to part two of our transfer talk with Mr. Stobart here. If you haven't seen part one, uh, which is dealing with all the ins in January or potential ins in January, then make sure to check that out afterwards. But in this video, we're going to deal with the potential um, departures from Spurs this January, starting with Mr. Andros Townsend. Obviously, we know that he's had his problems over the last few weeks. He's been playing in the under-21s, but Greg, what is the situation with Andrew Townsend at the moment? He is desperate to leave, okay. and I think he will leave. Pochettino, he doesn't want to rock the boat too much, doesn't want to make too many changes to the squad, but quite clear that Andrew Townsend is not part of his plans. He's available for transfer. He wants to go to the Euros with England. He knows Roy Hodgson likes him, and Hodgson's said to him, if you're playing, you've mm. got a good chance. Loads of teams want him, mainly mid to lower, table, lower league teams. West Brom and Watford have both made inquiries. Others have as well. But he's, in an ideal world, he'd go to Newcastle. He's told Tottenham he wants to go to Newcastle. Tottenham, as is their way, they want a straight permanent transfer. Mm. More likely, it looks like it would probably be a loan deal. So for Andros and his camp, it's a matter of one, convincing Tottenham to let him go on loan, mm. and then agreeing a loan fee with a club like Newcastle. We know Tottenham are hard negotiators, but they're not going to get 14, 15 million pounds for Andros Townsend in January. So what do you think um, possibilities of Levy coming to an agreement are? I mean, will it, obviously it's going to be a, a tricky negotiation, but do you think they'll come to a conclusion this January or? Yeah, I think he'll leave. I think it'll come down to, where, to, the, to the loan thing. Mm. I don't think you're going to find any team that are going to spend 15 million pounds on a player who's not started a Premier League game, not been involved in the squad for weeks or months, had a bust up with the fitness coach and it's quite clear that He's available for transfer. He's keeping himself fit. He's shown a really good attitude and a lot of quality. I mean, that, yeah, a lot of people would be attracted to that. I mean, from the moment he had the bust up with the, with the fitness coach, I was thinking this kid's got a bit of an attitude. But after that happened, he's only done good for himself because he's been fighting for. Well, well I was thinking he was fighting for a place in the under 21s when really it was yeah. probably to try and get himself in a shop yeah. window. But that just shows a great attitude. So yeah, 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 he has, and it was. The reason he fell out with fitness coach because he was frustrated when he wasn't mm. playing, and he's not the only one. The players hate doing that. You'll see them in, in the when you see them in the stadium doing that running after yeah, the game. They hate down. it. I remember Stan Booty last year. He'd go. He'd never play, or he'd come on for the last five minutes, and he hated doing that running yeah. after the game. I think Andros just he was frustrated and he showed it. It was a stupid thing to do, and he deserved to get punished. But he's, but he's done all the right things. Since he's a decent footballer. Um, whether he's got a way back for Tottenham, I don't think so. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think if Tottenham could do a permanent deal, they would. Like I said, more likely to be a loan, potentially with an option for a permanent transfer. But he's a good footballer, good bloke. He loves it at Tottenham. He's a Chingford boy. He's been there since he was yeah, like yeah, seven. Yeah, exactly. Or eight, and I, I was saying to you earlier, in that youth team, he was every bit as good mm. as Harry Kane. He's got an awful lot of potential. He's an England international, but it's just not worked out. No hard feelings. It happens sometimes. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But, you know, these things happen in football, I suppose. Um, next up. The one that we all want to know about, I'm sure, Federico Fazio. So, you said that more or less he's going to be off. Yeah, he's I think we, we, we'd already <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I said last time I was here, I don't have any particular information on Fazio. I just, we all know that mm. he's available. He can't even get anywhere near the team yeah. for the Cups. Uh, Sevilla have definitely been trying to sign him back. That's one where you just. If you're Daniel Levy, just cut your losses, mate. Yeah. You know, you know, so how, this is something I was going to ask: is how much do you think sort of it'll end up being? A couple of million. Yeah. I mean, West Brom tr nearly signed him in the summer, and it was five million pounds, and they couldn't agree personal terms. What's he worth now? Two and a half million, yeah. three million. Well, we but had that stinker against Arsenal. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's the only. Yeah, kit gave away two goals essentially. Really poor, and you know, he's an RG who doesn't even speak to Pochettino. Apparently, they're not. Even oh, on really? They're not even on speaking terms. So he's got. You know, unlike Andros, who's got his head down, he's been working and doing his bit. Fazio's head's elsewhere, and I just don't think yeah. he's, he's got no future. I don't think he'll be sorely missed at the club. No, well, not at all. I think it's a matter of a bit like they did. He's another. They did so well in the summer to get rid of all those players on massive mm. wages, the likes of Kabul, Capu, Adebayor, and the like. Um, they Paulinho. Don't want, yeah, all of all. Of, Paulinho was awful, and all of them just taking the wages, but not really having their heart in it. They don't want Fazio to be another one of those, mm. so you're better off just doing what they did in the summer, which was brilliant. See you later, mate. Bugger off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, finally, now this is one that I'm sort of a bit upset about, but you know he's not really played that much. Um, he was a, a huge prospect, and that's Velkovic. Now, um, you've got some insight on on him and sort of what's going to happen to him 
Because he's already said that he doesn't want to stay at the club, hasn't he? He doesn't, and I don't think Pochettino is too bothered about keeping him. Uh, when I've seen him play, he's looked really good. Yeah. Certainly great in the uh, Serbian youth teams. So he's the under-21 captain? Yeah, or and their they star play, he's their best player. Yeah. And for whatever reason, Pochettino doesn't trust him. He doesn't think he's going to make it, and he's told the club as much. So, firstly, that caused some difficulty with contract negotiations mm. and then sub subsequently he's not agreed a new deal and it looks like they'll let him go. He might go in January, he's another one possibly that will happen in the summer just because it's easier moving families and all that kind of stuff in the, in the summer but from Tottenham's point of view he's not really got a future at the club so they're going to, they're going to let him go which is sad because he's another talented young player yeah. to come through but you have to say when you Trust Pochettino, and that's what Daniel Levy and the rest of them are saying. Well, I think that, that's them. what most of us, um, you know, after the Leicester loss, there's a lot of people sort of questioning what's going on. We need to buy this player, we need to buy that player. But, you know, I think we, we literally we need to back Poch and, and, and Mitchell as well in, in their decisions. And, you know, these players leaving, you've got to respect that. And they've met, they've earned they've earned that trust. The yeah. players he's brought through, I don't need to name them. Mm. But even a little the decisions like something like putting Eric Dyer in midfield. Yeah. You or I Well we all slated yeah, him no, at the no start. One would, of the no season. one would have known. And you've got you've yeah. got to trust the guy with what he's doing. He knows what he's looking for. He's on the training ground with them mm. every day. Maybe Velkovic will leave and have a fantastic career, but yeah. he's not gonna have a career at Tottenham, unfortunately. Shame, shame, shame. Anyway, that's your uh, transfer talk from today. Um, thank you very much, Greg, for your assistance. Um, and yeah, make sure also to check out the, the other video from this, from this part, and that's part one, dealing with the ins, if you remember what I said at the start of the video. But yeah, if you uh, like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and also follow us on Twitter at SpurlonTV. Come on, you Spurs. Cheers, Greg. Cheers, mate.